Things will never be the same ever again. Give me one second. Excuse me, young man. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, things will never, ever be the same ever again. I get to now put this information out in different languages. I get to provide this information to people in other languages. And I can do it in so many different platforms that I've taken care of. So that one is for my Latin speaking compadres. And they'll get it. Most definitely, they'll get it. Now, I ain't bilingual. I'm not trilingual. I'm not even quadlingual. All I know is that I have ability to translate through AI. It may get some things wrong because, you know, AI is stupid. Okay, so it may get some things wrong. But, hey, the effort? Let's just say things will never be the same. Because I know that others will be inspired by what I just did. That's why I called the one in Serbian and English the beginning. Because what did um, Whitehead say? Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, not going to take up your day. I just want to tell you how... I don't know if y'all understand, things will never be the same. Now we don't have to worry about certain people not knowing what's going on, certain people not understanding certain laws. Now we don't have to worry about certain people being in the dark, being left out of the loop, so to speak. Finally. So, I hope some of you see the benefit of this, and I hope some of you will take the time with Suno to put out the information to educate individuals of different cultures. Because don't just stop with Serbian and uh, Latin or Spanish. There are so many other languages out there. And remember, the laws of the world are universal. I know, I know it doesn't seem like it. But it's called the United Nations for a reason. And if the nation that you are using a language to communicate with the people <laughs> is part of the United Nations, then you better believe their laws are universal. That's why the laws of the United States are called universal laws, unified laws. We have unified school systems. We have unified water districts. We have unified Teamsters un unions. So please understand, the laws are uniform. Start educating people. Different languages we have AI models. I use Vivaldi. Vivaldi is the browser that I use for the most part. I've grown to like it because it lets me do so many things, but it has a translation. And I put it in English, and it gives me all of these languages to translate to. Oh, I am so sorry about that. It gives me all of these languages to translate into. It, I'd, I'd be here for years doing this, <laughs> but I'm trying to tell you guys, you guys do it. Take me up on it, okay? But all I can tell you is things will never be the same. So, sorry, we're going to let my Jacinto, his name is Jacinto. I've given him the name Jacinto. And the young lady... We're just going to call her Selena the second. But yes, I decided to put both the uh, male vocal and the uh, female vocal on the same song. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, the title of the song is the same. What is it to you? What is money to you? The song is all about what money is, and that's the problem. Most people don't understand what money is. You guys don't understand that we create money. We create money. The government doesn't create money. The treasury nor the banks create money out of thin air. They call that junk money, but it's not money. 
Money is whatever we give value to. Federal Reserve notes have no value without us. That's what the whole act was talking about, ladies and gentlemen. The entire act, the entire act, the so-called amendment to the Trading with the Enemy Act and the Federal Reserve Act was about us. They need our participation. If we don't use that junk, that junk has no value. But because we use it, it has value. The reason why our promissory notes and stuff have no value is because we don't recognize that we're the ones who give value. We are the ones who give value. So my hope is that someday somebody will understand this. They'll realize that there is no money. We create the value. That's what is money, ladies and gentlemen. It is value that is money. And when they talk about lawful money, go ahead and understand what lawful money is. The full faith and credit of the United States is the lawful money they are referring to. That's why it's called full faith and credit credit all right gotta go y'all have a coconut smile take care of yourselves i'm out of here